What's up, guys? Can you hear me? I realize I haven't gone live lately in quite a while. I'm sorry. It's been a crazy few days and weeks. I'm exhausted. But I hope that you're having a good uh, holidays. I hope that you're being safe in this stock market. Um, I hope you're spending time with friends and loved ones and families and all that good stuff towards year end. And I also hope that you're following Karmagawa and checking out all the stuff that we're doing. Um, you can see I got my Karmagawa hoodie, my Karmagawa hat. If you go to Karmagawa.com, you should get your own. 80% of the profits go to charity. The other 20% go to making this stuff and actually some new projects that we have coming up. You think the stock market is going to dump again? I hear all these guesses like, oh, the stock market's bottom, the stock market's going to crash. No one knows. It's a foozy. It's a woozy. It's a fairy dust. Nobody knows. But if you trade individual stocks, you have better odds, I think. Where's everybody tuning in from? Oh, stop the scam. I love hearing conspiracy theories that I'm a scam. Education is not a scam, okay? I've been learning stuff on my own for 20 years, and I'm teaching it to others. I don't understand why people think it's a scam. I get it. There's many fakers in my industry, but I'm actually real. I show every trade. I show my income tax returns. I show my audits. I have more successful students than anybody. Cut the scam bullshit. I'm sad. Um, and I'm not sad. I don't, you know, I have thick skin. I don't care. You can say whatever you want to me. I'm sad for you guys that you're not, like, focusing on your education enough. There's a reason why there's not more real teachers out there, because you treat real teachers like shit. So show some respect for those of us who want to help you. Um, uh, I'm a pumper. <laughs> I trade with a $12,000 account mostly, okay? If I was a pumper, I would trade with a big account. I see some of these people posting, Luke, I made $50,000, I made $100,000. I trade with a small account in order to teach, and every dollar that I make from trading gets donated to charity. You would love to learn. If anybody wants to learn, um, just click the link in my bio. I will teach you, but you better be dedicated, okay? It's not about hot stock picks. It's about, you know, learning how finance works, learning how to spot, uh, you know, what's moving. Fakers and haters, let the profit and loss talk. Yeah, I mean, I've made nearly $5 million. Some people say, like, oh, you're such a shitty trader. Well, I'm a shitty trader who's made millions of dollars trading. And now I make millions of dollars teaching and trading. Um, I'm not perfect. But I can teach you, again, what I've learned over the past 20 years. I've now been teaching for 10 plus years. So my teaching has gotten better too. Skin Surfer likes the morning dip strategy. Yeah, I mean, it's been working best for me. I mistimed uh, UXIN a little bit, but it did have that nice morning panic and a 50 cent a share bounce. So I was on the right track. It's not just about how well you do on any one trade or any one year. You know, you're learning. It's a process. You're trying to adapt to the market. You're trying to figure out what best pattern works for you. And we're all different. Uh, let's see. How do you get the link? There's a link in my bio. If you go to my bio on Instagram, there's one little link that you can click. Click it and you can go apply to be my student. We have so many different options. It doesn't matter if you know anything about the stock market. If you suck at math like I do, it's fine. I'll teach you. But be dedicated. Go in understanding that, you know, the key to financial freedom is like a marathon. It's not going to happen overnight. My top student might have made $7 million, but he made nothing for the first nine months while he was learning. So you've got to have the right perspective. Too many people expect success right away. Why only a 12K trading account? That's what I started with. So I go back to my roots every year uh, to show how to grow it. And I do pretty well if you look at uh, all my stats. You know, if you just invest in the overall market, let's say, forget it, Tim, I don't want to learn from you, I'm just going to invest. Well, you'd be down roughly 10% on the year. So your $12,000 would be like $10,800 after a year. That's a fucking waste of a year. Trust in the process. Yeah, I wish more people would, but most people don't want to, you know, put in the time and effort. They're not willing to be patient enough to have true success. So they cut themselves short. They cut their potential short. Click the link in my bio. You go apply. Then we have so many different options. 
Um, or, you know, if you're broke, you can just watch my 1,000 plus for YouTube videos. Just type in my name on YouTube. But some people are like, oh, I, I, I don't have time. Just show me the best two YouTube, you know, videos. And I'm like, you're broke. Like, you don't get to do anything in life until you're not broke. So you can't be broke and lazy. Choose one. Lazy people is fine, you know. I know a lot of rich people who are lazy as fuck. They're living off their parents' money or, you know, somebody else's money. But you can't be broke and lazy. That's a miserable life. Am I a day trader or a swing trader? I'm an opportunity trader. Sometimes I, I take, you know, positions for several days or several weeks, but not lately because the market's just too scary. Oakley fan says, Tim, thanks. You're the best gift of all time. I love the stock market. I read your book. Beautiful. Thank you. I know I haven't talked about my students lately. I haven't talked about anything lately. I've been focused on Karmagawa. I don't know if you saw our Rhino video went viral, 12 plus million views. Thank you to everybody. Thank you for sharing it. I actually just reposted it yesterday. If you could share that, I'd appreciate it. We're just trying to get the word out there before Rhinos disappear forever. My video lessons are all the same. Now, why do I have 5,000 plus of them? They're not the same. They're actually divided into categories. You're lazy. Lazy people are all the same. That's the truth. Do I invest in real estate? Nope, I think real estate's going to crash like the stock market. I have multiple books. So you can look on Amazon, and then I also have a free book on my website, timothysykes.com. You miss me. I don't know why you miss me. I send out a watch list every day. I do video lessons. I'm doing a webinar tomorrow. I do weekly webinars. If you're my student, you don't miss me. <laughs> How long will it take you to reach the success level? It depends on how hard you study, and it also depends on the market. A lot of people are like, I'm studying so hard, but I'm not making money. Well, the market's been shit. Most people in the stock market have lost 10, 20, even 30% of their assets in the past month or two. So be happy if you're just break even. Please check your DMs. I know, I'm catching up. You guys can DM me um, this weekend. I'm going to be catching up on DMs. I'm sorry I get a little behind. Tim's the hardest working. And, I, you know, I thank you for that comment. I'm also the, the hardest eating. Um, wait till you see what I've been eating lately. I love to eat. I work hard and I eat hard. You're, you guys said your dad's lost a million. I'm sorry. Rule number one is cut losses quickly. This is part of the reason why I don't like real estate. I don't like long-term investing. You know, you just hold and you hope. And after a 10-year bull market, that's a very dangerous thing. My Christmas was good, thank you, but I'm Jewish. So my Christmaka was good. What's my favorite color? Um, green, blue, purple, and black. Nothing's typical. What up, Kunal? How's it going? What's my view on backtesting? Do it, by far. Rule number one is cut losses quickly. Oh, have I ever thought about using less than 12K, like how Tim Gratani started with 1,500? Nope, 12K is as low as I go. That's what I started with in 1998. That's what I'll start with every year from now on um, just to show it. But I can only pretend to be poor for so long. Like it fucks with my mind, you know. I want to trade like $10 million like I should. But that doesn't help the average student. The average student has a few thousand dollars to their name. Bitcoin? Bitcoin's had a rough 2018, you know. I hear all these predictions of like a million, and yet it can't even get close to 10,000. It's struggling in the 3,000s now. So wake me up when Bitcoin starts spiking again, then I'll fucking care. Until then, it's just a lot of people who have lost 60, 70, 80%, and I don't know what they're smoking, but they're trying to forget their pain. It's sad. You like what Carmagawa is doing? Thank you. So we're, we're helping rhinos. We have 47 schools. Actually, in the next month or month or two, uh, we're going to have 51 schools. So I'm going to keep building schools. My partner, Matt, and I are serious about that. And we have several new causes that we're going to be working on in 2019. Which one of my DVDs should you watch first? Uh, go to howtomakemillions.com. It's a 35-hour guide. It all goes to charity in case you didn't realize that's kind of like what I'm obsessed with lately. Um, and that's really good. That, that contains everything that I've learned over the years. People are asking, can you go on a Karmagawa trip? First, get some merch. 
Okay, if you're unwilling to even get some merch and, and rock that, like, you're not going to come on a trip. Okay, everybody wants to come on trips. First, prove that you're a little different and that you're willing to actually, you know, wear the merchandise, post about it, post photos, videos, tag me, tag Karmagawa. That's step number one. Then we'll talk about how, you know, go on and going on a trip later. Looking at other markets, the U.S. market offers a lot of opportunities. I mean, my $12,000 account is up, what, like 75, 80% this year. And the overall market's down 10%. So that's a little outperformance. And I was blocked from trading uh, by E-Trade for like three months due to my travel. They actually thought my account was hacked. It was pretty funny. Uh, live seminars. Email admin at timothysykes.com. Um, I do teach in person. I'm going to be teaching in Vancouver in a few weeks. If you guys want to come to Vancouver, oh yeah. Thank you for everything that we're doing. Why don't I trade Forex? Forex, there's just no edge. You know, as an individual trader, or you don't really have the opportunity to make a lot of money. You're competing against all of the richest, smartest people. Sure, if you use leverage, but most Forex traders blow up. So I just prefer stocks. I think they're easier. I do know that there's big money to be made in Forex. Just the average person doesn't have the tools. They don't have the knowledge. They don't have uh, the, the edge to do it. I think stocks, especially penny stocks, even though the whole world hates on them, I think that you have odds, you know, on your side. Do I ever come to New York or Texas? Yeah, every now and then. Am I coming to Toronto? No, just Vancouver for now. Can you flip 7K easily? I mean, it depends on how hard you study. It depends on the opportunities. There haven't been that many hot stocks the past few weeks. Um, the whole market's crashing pretty much everywhere. So, I think you just have to be a little safe right now. Sometimes you can be a little aggressive. Sometimes I think it's better to be defensive. Is shorting more risky than going long? Yeah, there's a lot of newbie shorts lately, and they've just been squeezing each other, like on stocks like UXIN and MRIN. I'm really motivating every day. Thank you. I'm glad I'm saving animals. Thank you. I love saving animals. I didn't even intend to. We, you know, we started Karmagawa to build schools, but then, you know, everywhere we build a school, we see animals, and I, you know, we can't help but not help them. I will read my DMs. Relax. It just takes me a few days slash weeks to catch up. I get a lot of DMs lately. What was my biggest loss? Um, I lost $180,000 in one day short selling a little too aggressively, but I made back 220000 the next day. This is in my book, An American Hedge Fund, which you should read. You can see every single one of my trades. It's all listed publicly on timothysykes.com. You can see my position size. You can see my commentary. You can see what I do right, what I do wrong. That's the beauty of transparency. A lot of sketchy traders out there they're not transparent showing all of their trades. It's the simplest thing to do, but they make excuses why they can't do it. Elephants, rhinos, whales. Yeah, I mean, there's so many animals to help. What's the best place I visited this year? Um, I visited 20 countries. I'm always a, you know, a big fan of Japan this year. South Africa was amazing. Philippines was amazing. Guatemala is amazing. Italy is amazing. I love them all. You found a website find, that lists how many shorts. It's not real. It's not up to date. Do not trust short data. There is no good source for short selling data. I'm sorry. Do I still teach trading? Yes. I teach trading and I trade <laughs> every day. Have I been to Brazil? Yes, I have. I need to go back there. Um... Am I considering helping other schools or people? I, you know, we consider everything. Karma Gal is growing fast. Uh, before our last trip, we had like 20,000 followers on Karma Gal, and now we're at nearly 300,000. So, Sam Calder, thank you for that awesome video on YouTube and Instagram. It's gone truly viral. Again, if you want to get started with me, click the link in my bio. I will teach you. You just better be dedicated. Do not be lazy. Don't come near me if you are lazy. Lazy people and I do not get along. If you know somebody who hates me, they're probably lazy. Can I probably talk shit to them? I have no problem calling them out.
lazy people are a waste of time in life, and it's just sad. So I think 2019 will be a good year. Every year is a good year if you're prepared, if you have knowledge, you know, if you can go long, if you can go short, if you have people that, you know, want to see you all the time. Like, every year is a good year. It's a bad year only if you're unprepared, uneducated, and lazy. And you're a genius. No, I'm really not even that smart. I'm just a hard worker. I just realize what works in the stock market and in life. You know, you just got to be honest. And I do have a rather extraordinary work ethic. I'll give myself props on that. I got to thank my parents for that work ethic. No one works as hard as I do. What do I think of SureTrader and iMarkets Live? Haven't heard good things about either of them. I use E-Trade, Interactive Brokers. There's so many weird little Forex, binary, options, scams, imposters pretending to be me. I only have one Instagram, guys. I'm not this bullshit Timothy Leary or what is it? There's somebody named Michael that was using my pictures. There's so many fucking imposters these days. It's sad. D. Hamzy says, cut losses quickly, react, don't predict, stay disciplined, play the price action, never go all in. I agree with all of those. And have patience. A lot of people think they're going to have success right away. They underestimate how long it's going to take. But then they don't realize, you know, once you get it, once you get the process down, one, two, three, four years, like it's on like autopilot four years in. I've never met a student that's dumb enough to not understand everything within like three or four years if they put in the time. Lazy people, they can be lazy and watch one video lesson per month and it'll take them a lifetime. That's why I don't like working with lazy people. How do I not overtrade? Um, I've experienced a lot of losses. I've experienced a lot of confusing stocks. And when you experience that stuff, you just don't want it anymore. I just like waiting for the right setups. Do I ever use loans to invest? No, never use loans. 90% of traders lose, guys. Never quit like a normal paying job to trade. Never take out loans to trade. Trading is very speculative. It can be very profitable if you're prepared, but it's very risky and, you know, most likely you will lose if you're unprepared. Hard to find current examples of video lessons in the poor market. Untrue. Untrue. If you go back and watch all of my 5,700 plus video lessons, there are hundreds of them that have been in bad markets too. This is the beauty of teaching now for 10 years. We've seen good markets. We've seen bad markets. Best book for beginners, um, the complete penny stock course by my student, Jamil. Um, he took all of my lessons and DVDs and he put it all in one book. I wrote the foreword, the complete penny stock course on Amazon. Read it on Kindle too. What do I think about weed stocks and CBD? I mean, I'm down for any sector that can prove itself. I think there's a big problem with too many people where they're like, this sector has to do well. This stock has to do well. Stop being so biased. Nothing has to do well. Remember, most traders lose. Most investors can't even beat the S&P 500 every year. And the S&P 500 is down 10% this year. Could I repeat the book? The Complete Penny Stock Course. This, I think this is live too, so this gets archived, so you can just watch it again. I do answer direct messages. I'm sorry, I just get behind. And as you can see, I get the same questions over and over again. <laughs> it's the exact same questions. All right, guys, I got to go do some work. I'm going to go answer some DMs now. So message me if you want to learn. Click the link in my bio. Go get some Karmagawa gear. We got hoodies. We got hats. These are just two of the things. I think we have like 10 different designs. More are coming. Um, I can't wait to, to see more of you guys in 2019. That's my goal. I love meeting you guys in person. Um, so we're going to, you know, have more opportunities for that. But I just love teaching, you know. So have a good rest of 2018. Um, you know, I'm very grateful for all of you guys. Even the lazy people, even though I give the lazy people shit, I'm still grateful for them because there's still hope, you know, maybe they can have a shitty enough life when they're lazy and then they're like, oh, wait a minute, I met this crazy guy, Tim Sykes, who doesn't like lazy people. He told me if I wasn't lazy, I might have a better life. Maybe I should listen to him. 
Yeah, no shit, you should. See ya.